Well, uh, next tune I'd like to do for you is another of my tunes. It's called G and A Blues after Grant and Amy, uh, who are good friends of mine, who gave me this soprano sax uh, a long time ago, and uh, it's. Um, I thought the least I could do would be to write a tune for them, so I did the least I could do, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the result. And uh, it's uh, yes, it's uh, it's got it's not really a blues, but it has a bluesy feeling to it. G and A blues. This will also be the loudest number we're going to play tonight as well. So okay. yes, yes. I'm afraid this is. Uh, it does have quite a quite a capability for a high volume, I must say. I wouldn't. I would hesitate to blow it too loud in a in a small confined space like this for the health and safety implications. But, uh, we, yes. we we call it the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> the, the volume out of this soprano sax could it could singe your eyebrows as many pages and pieces. And it says. Oh, good. It says uh, patented 1914 on the back of it, so we think it was probably sort of specially reinforced oh. to be withstand the rigours of the First World War <laughs> and to be heard over the noise, over the noise of it as well. And the papers. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if your Lee Enfield packs up, you've always got your soprano. <laughs> frighten the enemy. Uh, anyway. Oh, great. Uh, anyway, we digress as usual. We often do. Sorry about this. Okay. G and A blues. Yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 